Right, I've just got a couple of offcuts here that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to make a little toy for the kids. Something that they can colour in when they uh, get home. Almost every morning we have this. Some little scruff being in the fag bin. I mean, why would you want to be in here? Good morning, YouTube. Well, the job that I'd like to get finished today is the ducting for the dust extraction unit, which means I've got to go to Screwfix to pick up some elbows and tees and everything like that for the pipe. But there is one thing I want to show you before I actually go. Now, it's raining outside, so that means we have a few leaking issues inside. Now, I was well aware of the condition of the premises before I took it on. So I'll just show you the few leaks that I've got. A drip over here, which is gradually filling this bucket up. You'll see that this is probably the worst location for the moisture. So we have a big puddle here. And it runs all the way down this board off of the, off of the roof. And we also have drips there and there. I'm going to speak to the landlord because he's a nice guy and I think uh, we can help each other out on this. But this box gutter section is completely stuffed. Now that leaks quite badly. There's also this section of the box gutter, which this is why we've not painted it because it needs changing. And then if we go up the stairs, then you will see that this section of the roof is different to this. So that's the asbestos roofing, which is fine. But this section has obviously been missing at some point and replaced, and it is absolutely shot now. So I have another bucket there, collecting the occasional drip, which you can see is coming through quite regularly. So I can sort these out with a temporary fix. Because it's corrugated asbestos roofing, all I have to do is get a length of PVC gutter in, which I've got, I've got loads, which was given to me, and you slide that length above the lower board and prop it up underneath the hole, and anything that comes through just runs down and out of the building through the other end. But it's of course a temporary fix, so until we can get round to getting these problems fixed completely, I'm going to just have to patch it up. But there's nothing I can do about it today, because I can't get access, my ladders aren't long enough, and I could really do with some type of scaffold to get up there and work. So, this is more for me to be able to recollect where the leaks are if I watch this back. To make sure that I don't get screw fix, and not have the correct size gutter in, I'm going to take a sliver with me. That will do it. Stuart's in front of us. Moment of truth. Oh, she's a tight fit on the insert. And pretty loose on the other side, but I think, I think she'll do. Snip and get some fuel and food while I'm here. Well, that's what nine quid gets you in Morrison's these days. Fuel full. You don't get a lot for your dash. You don't get a lot for your dash. So these are straight connectors we're going to use for the blast gates. 90s, self explanatory. 112s. Now I've got the 112s because the branches come off at a jaunty angle. This is for the glass washer and uh, more 90s.
the two outer sections of the blast gates all cut. They're all stacked here. We've got six blast gates in total. Now all I need to do is put the separator in the centre. And what I intend to use for that, I'll put loads of this MDF laminated flooring to go in between and slide back and forth. I just hope that it's going to create a good enough seal, but the idea is I can do it really quite tight and it should still slide. So we shall see if it works. Unfortunately, the time is now uh, 2.59, so I have to get ready to go and pick the kids up. Yeah, I know. What I'd like to do is get all of these adapters cut and pinned and glued so these have got time to dry. So what I might try and do is come back down with the kids if possible. I say this every day. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we are back with the kids. Um, and we've got them upstairs. First thing they said was, oh, the telly's really small. <laughs> right, where's this sausage roll for you? We'll get you set upstairs. So we made a bobbin, but uh, unfortunately, I've done it in a polygon, and it would appear that the polygons don't work as well. Abby can make her spin, but I can't make it spin. Ooh, hey up! Hey up! <laughs> you some in that. Right. So as far as I can remember. You wind them up, wind your bobbin up. Keep winding, baby. And then. Oh, yeah. She's going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounds like a motorbike. Maybe you need longer string. Yeah, well done. Well done. It's alright, we've got loads of string. Well, at least we can tell the polygon works. Go 
don't want to get a girl. Marty but you know. Oh, sailor. You can't beat a good hardy when you get home, can you, Jem? Oh, everybody loves a bit of Tom. No, no. Not Tom Watson. I meant hardy. Oh, that's Tom going hardy. in. That's going in. We're just going to cut it where it says a bit of Tom. No. <laughs> Right, there's yours, love. Here's mine. We'll see you tomorrow.